I've been in Canada for a grand total of four hours and I'm already considering adding use to words like color and favorite. What's going on everybody? My name's Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy. It's opening day of muskie fishing on Eagle Lake in Ontario. And that's why we're here. Uh, it is June 17th, if I'm not mistaken, and we drove through the night, got here about 3.40, got the boat ready to roll, and I believe we were fishing by about 4.40. So uh, this is gonna go downhill real quick because we are all very sleep deprived, but it is too gorgeous to not be fishing. Um, it, and we've got some overcast skies, uh, fairly calm conditions, and hopefully some hungry muskies for you to watch us catch. So let's get after them. All right, folks, I did really well last year in August, so I'm gonna start out this trip throwing a Bubba topwater. We've got perfect topwater conditions this morning. So I'm gonna be throwing that. Uh, Trevor is throwing a eight inch Navin and Jim is throwing a Lee Lures Ninja back there. So that's what we've got rocking. We're all throwing a Salt Stick 2020s, of course, because they're cool and light and really nice rods. Um, I've got mine paired with a 400 Tranks and Fins 80 pound XS Super Line. It is awesome. You should check them out. American Made Braid, folks. So that's what we got going on Eagle Lake this morning, opening day of musky fishing. Ooh, 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 ooh. See that swirl? Oh, oh come on. That's a big fish. <laughs> oh, that was a freaking dandy, dude. That was cool. Still. Oh, come on. Yeah, he took off pretty hard. Way, Jim. Yeah, somebody somebody get him. You bumped? Did it feel like that? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, I gotta fall, gotta fall. Oh, oh, she's down there. Oh, she's still down there. Oh, there. Yeah, she was hanging down quite a ways. Quite the series of events. That's what I get for screwing around. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, it's ooh, ooh, ooh. Yep, yep. big fish.
that was a freaking dandy. That was like a four footer. Yeah, hot for a minute. Gosh, she, really, she ramped up right here. I thought yeah. she was gonna eat. All right, ladies and gents, midday update. Uh, we we took a nap, a really long one. Got some food. Uh, had to sort of recover from driving all night to get up here uh, this morning. I would call it a success. We saw nine fish, two or three of which were four foot plus fish. Uh, so close to getting one to hit. Should be should be some cool footage. Uh, took some time to cast some rattle traps. Got some walleyes. Got some pike for dinners later on. And uh, yeah, that's where we're at now. We've got perfect conditions. I love the conditions that we have. Ripple on the water. Um, 64 to 66 degree water. We should have these fish coming out of the spawn. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna keep checking weeds, rocks, going back and forth, see what we can find, and uh, go from there. How big a fish was it? I still out? Is he still out there? Yeah. Okay. No, he, he came from right over here, unless he was just trying to hit mine. Sure. At a 90 or something, he wasn't following it. Huh. Yeah, I just looked down and... Yeah. Kind of came and Old flash. Okay. Feel good? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Big pike. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it popped off. That's a. Uh, it might be. Watch, it'll be 39 and a half. That's a, that's a good tube test. <laughs> Here. So this yep. plugs right in there. All right. That's cool. All right, folks. Well, uh, just got out for the afternoon, pretty much, and uh, raised a muskie. And like the next cast, was it? Yeah. Next, next cast. <laughs> next cast. Yells fish. We're thinking, okay, muskie. I see the head coming in, and I'm like, okay, we got a muskie, and then pff, pike. But it is a big pike, so we're going to take a look and see if we have hit the 40 inch mark, uh, because that is a true trophy pike. And uh, yeah, let's see what we got. Get on that thing. It's a healthy fish. Yeah, it is. Beautiful. Nice and clean. Yeah. All right. What do we got? <laughs> we got her. We did it. Not even an eighth over. Oh, you can hit. She swipes good. You could probably hit a quarter, but she is over 40. That is for sure, man. There we awesome. go. Awesome, dude. Awesome. Very cool. All right. Well, uh, there you have it. A uh, new personal best for Mr. Trevor Allen. Broke the 40 inch mark and uh, you know, get a girth just in case we want to get a replica made of uh, that fish because it was a beautiful fish, nice fat. Um, but yeah, we've got, we got all sorts of time. We're just getting started for the afternoon here and uh, hopefully we'll have a couple few muskies on the way. Fish? Feel good? Okay. Yeah, it's not good. One. <laughs> there we go, dude. Nice. <laughs> That's that awesome. Sweet. Dropped it, just dead paws all the way down, yeah. hit the bottom. And it hit? Right as it touched the bottom. That is wild, dude. <laughs> second, PB. Yeah, it is. 
That's awesome, man. <laughs> so that's I'm like, the coolest thing ever. I didn't even move the bait. Yeah. I just. That's awesome. All right. We've got another PB. That might be bigger than I thought. It's a freaking dandy, dude. <coughs> Forty-four and a half. Forty-four and a half. Yeah, dude. Nice. Underestimated. Hold it up. It's gonna get a good still. She's a beat up fish, man. Yeah, she is. That's awesome. Put right. her back in the water here. Yep. I think I see the timer going though, maybe. Okay, there she goes. Nice, dude. Cool. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. Fish! Good fish, yeah. Watch the net. There you go. It's a hell of a nice fish. Whew. Thanks, sir. Yeah, he popped it. Way out there. Way out there. That is a dandy. Whew. Dude, that might be like a 46. All right, ladies and gents. Well, after kind of a rough morning, a slow afternoon, Trevor got a nice fish, and now I've got a pretty nice one. This was ripping a Medusa through weeds. I know you guys have probably seen Robbie and Michael on uh, today's angler doing that. So I was downsizing though. I was not being crazy and throwing monsters and huskies. I was just throwing a, a mid with a deep threat weight on it. And this fish crushed it like on the second or third rip. See if we can get her out of here without too much problem. Oh, come on, lady or fella. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, you ready? Oh, that is a beautiful Eagle Lake specimen. So, probably in the low to mid 40 range. We'll find out here. Get a nice accurate measurement for musky zinc in the lunge log. All right, and who, I was right. No matter which way, 47 and a quarter. She stretches the tape too. That is a heck of a fish. Boop, 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 okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. There. There we go. 47 and a quarter. 
Eagle Lake Mussel. She's just writing herself and thanks girl. All right, folks, here's the bait I was using. Like I said, just a little mid, mid do so with a one ounce deep threat weight on the front to kind of get a more of a hopping motion out of it going through those weeds and tossing it on, on a Moab. So it's a little bit heavy for that size bait, but it's really nice to have that extra backbone when you're ripping it through the weeds. 100 pound fins braid excess and uh, yeah, on 500 tranks. So that was pretty fun. That was a cool fish. All right, folks, real quick, it is that time of night. I'm going to lose the kind of green mirror looking lens and put in these polar clear lenses, which are just fantastic for low light. Get them popped in. There we go, just like that. There we go. Now I've got my low light lenses. Ready to rock and roll. All right, ladies and gents, we've probably got a few more minutes. Wow, I can't talk. We have a few more minutes to fish, but our brains and bodies are mush because um, lack of sleep is a terrible thing <laughs> and we are suffering greatly from it right now. But we had an awesome day. Uh, Mr. Trevor Allen over here putting stuff away, got his personal best pike and personal best muskie today uh, and I caught a dandy of a 47 and a quarter ripping um, Medusa through weeds so um, I saw a lot of fish so for the first day on the water back here on Eagle Lake since last August I'm calling that a huge win uh, we've got fish to go back on tomorrow we've got ideas of where to go and where to look for them so uh, yeah it's looking looking good we're gonna go back have some food try to get some greatly needed rest and do all of this silliness for you again tomorrow. So with that, I thank everything. Wow, I thank every single one of you for watching and I'll see you on the next video.